All right, YouTube, this is Sparrow KD, and we're going to go in the basement real quick, and I want to run down my home theater setup and the whole situation here in the basement. We'll start right here with the Echo B Plus. Alexa, turn on basement lights. All right. So we go right downstairs, and I guess... Why not start from the back over here? We'll pick it up right here with the little video game situation. My old school setup here with the Galaga, Miss Pac-Man, and Pac-Man. I had a special stand uh, designed and um, put together for this. And uh, I think it's a good look. It works out very well. Back here. That is the original Amazon Echo. And I have it mounted on the uh, wall here with this uh, wall mount. I like how it sounds up top there. And I just like the look of having it uh, off the counter, saving, uh, you know, counter space, which is, um, you know, at a premium. So over here we have my... Uh, DJ setup. This is all professional equipment. It's um so it's old. It's outdated. It's not what someone would purchase today, uh, May 2019. But it is professional stuff. I'm not a professional DJ, so I won't be upgrading this stuff anytime soon. This is just here for fun. Uh, when people come over, uh, I have professional JBL 15s left and right and then on the bottom here of a base bottom by tapco it's called the thump it's an 18 inch uh subwoofer in that base bottom you have the pioneer cdj's uh one and two and then the zone two mixer of course you got the macbook pro the apple macbook pro got the little mic that's relatively new um, always had the mic, but then I put a little, a little, uh, holder here, this little bracket and stand, uh, to make it a little more convenient. And down in the bottom, like I said, this is old stuff. That is the original Serato SL1. It still works. I'm running Serato, um, but I won't be upgrading to the three or I don't know. They may even have a four out now. I won't be um, upgrading to that because I don't get paid to um, to DJ. Over here, I have some of my old school nostalgic stuff. This is uh, one of my uh, uh, disc players. This one was by Philips. This is a Sony Walkman here. These things don't get any use at all, but they are just here. I have all of my music on that... Um, that drive right down there. And let's see. Old school camera here, camcorder on a tripod with my headphones for the DJ setup. We know what this is right here. We got the elliptical. In the mornings, you can come down, watch a little TV, listen to music, and get a couple of minutes in right before work. If I so choose to over here, we have a little kitchen situation here and I have my brown liquor set up over here, right under the alpha Phi alpha little, uh, pitcher with the light here, wine, uh, fridge over here. I did throw in an air conditioner. I had it covered up. But uh, it's that time of year now where I can actually start to pull that out. I haven't, I haven't used the AC just yet, and that's running off of a TP-Link plug here, and I can uh, work that with um, Alexa set timers and things like that. So that's um, that's a good look. The fridge, of course, more alcohol, and then you have your. I would say your white liquor cabinet here. 
We're not going to go too deep into that. The Ciroc setup over here. This device right here is from Brookstone. And I, f I think it's called the Perfect Pour. So what you do, you get your, your glass. And there's an app. You use your app. This, this iPad here is dead. Uh, you use your app with the Perfect Pour here. And the app tells you what alcohol to pour in. And as you reach the certain level, the right amount of whatever the ingredient is, um, then it tells you when to stop. You can see it on the screen as you're pouring it. So you make the perfect drinks that way. Uh, another one of my Bluetooth speakers right here. I believe I do have the uh, Chromecast audio hooked up to that as well. So I can do whole house audio with that Chromecast audio. Then you have my, this is the Patron drawer right here and got some, um, some corn liquor, moonshine type stuff as well with my, um, my tequila cabinet right there. Popcorn maker, stove, and let's get out of the kitchen. Before we get into the home theater, I want to show this little foot massage thing right here. This is a good look right here that definitely, definitely comes in handy on, uh, on many, many days there. I would advise everyone to get yourselves one of those. So we'll start with the seating for the home theater. Now, this is not any special home theater seating, just something that I saw when I was um, in Costco with my daughter, we saw these uh, chairs here. They're recliners, burgundy leather, and we thought that they would go very well down here because I used to have a long black couch and a black recliner over here. Um, this this chair is also it's the same, same chair. I bought three. Nothing is wrong with it or anything, but I just like to display my colors. Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. And the colors actually match the room design down here uh, with the black and gold as the primary and then your burgundy as, as an accent. All right. So, yeah, these chairs recline. Uh, they feel comfortable and they work just right for what my needs are right down here. The coffee tables are just some cheap uh, thing that I got from, I'm going to say, Bed Bath & Beyond. Just like an impulse purchase. Like, hey, well, I know I need these coffee tables. Let me grab them since they're two for, I don't know, $50 or whatever the case may be. Maybe even $40. In that little box down there, I have um, things like um, chargers and cables uh, remotes, things of that nature. Over here uh, is the little computer stand here, so you don't have to have your computer on your on your lap. You know, you can work as a little desk, which is a a good look, and it makes things makes things much easier. All right, so let's start over here with the tower speakers. The tower speakers that I have are Polk Audio, and these things are more than a couple of decades old. I bought them. I bought a five-speaker set in 1995, and I've had them since then. They've served me well from time to time. I think, oh, man, I see all this new and better stuff on... Um, on YouTube with all the channels that I watch. But if these things are working and they handle whatever my receiver and amps push out to them, I've had several receivers during that time. Since, uh, since 1995, I've changed receivers several times. I've even moved three times and um, the speakers are still with me. The speakers are still good. These are, take off the, the cover here. These are dual 
eight inch woofers with the tweeter on top. Good look. So I plan on keeping them unless I run into some money or something like that, or they, um, they give out on me. So far, they have not. Uh, right next to them, or flanking the um, audio devices here, are the Polk Audio subwoofers. I had this sub right here on the right for a little bit of time. I'm going to say since about 2011, 2012. And I decided to go with dual subs to get a more full bass sound in the room. So I was thinking about, obviously, of course, you always think about just going ahead and upgrading to the, the latest and greatest or whatever your money can buy. Um, but instead of trying to get rid of one sub and sell it for, you know, a lot less than what I paid for it, I just decided to go ahead and buy another one just like it. So it works out quite well. I have the one on the right, I believe, set to uh, zero. And the one on the left here set to 180 as far as the phasing goes. So I'm pretty much covered in, in, in that area. Uh, it sounds very good in my opinion. All right, so we'll move right down here. And this is the newest thing in the home theater. It's my AVR. This is the Denon AVR X6500H. And what I'm running is 7.2.4. 7.2.4 in here. And this Denon is actually capable of powering all 7.2.4 speakers, which is a good look because right before this uh, AVR, I had an Ankyo. I don't have the number in front of me and I can't recall what the number was, but it was a decent mid-range um, Ankyo. Uh, but it did not power all of the speakers. And at that time, because it didn't power everything, I ended up purchasing right here, the Emotiva A700, a seven channel amplifier. So that was the way I was able to get at that time, 7.2.4. And I'm still using the, the Emotiva right now. Above the Emotiva is a, uh, a how, what do you say this, Panamax? And this is, in my opinion, this is not a real power conditioner. This is the lowest model that they have, the cheapest model that they have. So it's kind of like a glorified uh, power strip. But um, it cost about, I don't know, 140 150 or something like that. I was thinking about sending it back, but um, it does what I need it to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and stay with that. All right, to the left of the AVR at the bottom here, you'll see the old school. This is the Sony PlayStation right on the bottom. It's the PS3. I have some games up top and some uh, Blu-ray disc, but I don't really play games much. And the PlayStation is it's kind of loud. It runs loud. The fan uh, is very loud. Um, you know, you can, you can get used to it, but it's, it's not the, it's not the greatest. And I was thinking about picking up the PS4, but I understand that the PS5 is coming out. So that may end up being my new, um, 4k Blu-ray player. I may wait for the PS5 or I may just go ahead and purchase, uh, another 4k, uh, Blu-ray player to, um, to put down here. Uh, right down here, you have uh, my car there. That is the Porsche Panamera. Mine is not black. Mine is blue. However, I could not find a blue remote control Porsche Panamera to, um, you know, to purchase just to put down here. So they had red, they had yellow, and they had black. So I, I ended up going with the, um, with the black. 
So that's that's cool. Right here in the middle, you have my center channel. And like I said, when I bought the the Polk Towers here, I bought five in a set for a thousand dollars back in 1995, which was a good look. So the center channel that originally came with the set, something happened to it. Someone broke it. I don't know what happened, but I think about, mm, I'm going to say 2000, maybe 2008 or so, I had to end up uh, purchasing a new one. That's why it's a little off. It's not the same exact uh, surface or finish, I should say, as the other one. Uh, as the towers, but um, it works. The tonal quality is roughly the same. Um, you can play with that in your uh, room correction software and your EQ. So it it does the job for me. So I'm not um I'm not upset that it's not the same finish. What else? What else? What else? On top of the PS3, I have the. This is the. Files, the Verizon Files 1, and that's their newest thing, the 4K, their 4K um, device, even though Verizon Files doesn't show any movies or TV programs in 4K just yet, it, this box does offer Netflix and YouTube and uh, those uh, services deliver a video in 4k quality so that's how they get to call their box a 4k box because the box is capable of 4k but um you know they they themselves are not um putting out any 4k content so that's all good maybe that'll change at some some point all right moving right along last but not least is the this is a Samsung 75 inch 4K smart TV. I'm gonna say I picked this up in, I don't know, 2014 or so. So this TV is not HDR, um, doesn't have the Dolby Atmos, well not Atmos, but the Dolby uh, Vision or anything like that. But it still looks good, it's still clear. Um, it's a good picture quality and a good screen size. So I like it. It does what I need it to do for me down here. Over here, we have these little bulbs here. These are Bluetooth. They're called uh, play bulb candles. And you can work them with your phone. I have them inside of this, um, this little... Uh, fireplace type situation here um, uh, under here you have the canisters that you can light up and uh, you'll have fire going but um, that's not the safest thing in the world and um, I don't like it you smell the gas all in the room it's just not a good look so when I saw these uh, these little play bulb things I thought that that was the uh, the right way to go and I think I pretty much covered everything down here in my little home theater situation. Any questions, comments, whatever the case, hit me up below. Any suggestions, any tips, any ideas, I'd love to hear from you. This is Farrell KD. Thanks for watching the video and I'm out. Peace.